Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. My name is Mohammed Ali, and in the previous tutorial, as you know, that we have created the register activity and the login activity, which are empty activity right now. Now in this tutorial, we will design these activities, and these are the login activity .java file, and this is the register activity. But first, we have to design both of these activities. Then we will allow the user to log in using uh, the Firebase uh, authentication process. We will also add the uh, phone. I mean, so that uh, user can log in using his uh, phone number. He will provide his phone number and so on. So let's do that. Then we will discuss it later further. So first of all, change this. We will work on the activity login.xml file. Okay. So change this to relative layout. And then after that, uh, we need a scroll view. So you can search here. That is S C R O W L, and it will appear here. Scroll view, drag and drop here. So this is our scroll view, and now inside this scroll view make sure to remove this android orientation and change this linear layout to relative layout or if it is not present then you uh, must add it manually okay remove this and close this like that yeah okay so now inside this relative layout you will be needing an image view match parent and it should be 250 dp and the source first of all let me tell you that the link to these three icons which is password email phone and sign up photo and this login photo will be available in the description down below you can simply download it from there and then copy this control c and go to the android studio here you can see this drawable folder click on that and then click on show in explorer and then go to the drivable folder and paste your all these uh, icons and pictures here okay you can see that email password phone and this okay inside the drivable folder so yeah now the source for uh, this image will be src and this android source will appear and it is by the name login photo and you can see that if i zoom it and you will see it that it looks more beautiful and when we design this uh, login activity then you will love it so then we can say align parent start to true and after that align parent top to true the scale type for it will be fit center now after this image view we need an edit text so we can say edit text match parent wrap content and first let's give id to our this image view so the id for this will be login underscore image and then the id for our this edit text will be login email align parent start to true and after that we can move it below the uh, login image so copy this id and paste that id here you can see this let's give it some hint and it will be email now the input type for this will be email text email address okay which is this one and the background for this will be android background and it should be the inputs okay and let's give it some padding from our side it should be 4 dp now we have to add uh, the icon here so you can say drawable drawable start and we have an icon by the name email inside the drawable folder you can see that now what is uh, let me tell you what is this background which is inputs and what is this drawable start uh, in the previous tutorial as you know that we have created a drawable resource file by the name inputs and uh, buttons so if you have not watched our previous tutorial then please go and watch that tutorial first okay and this is uh, the drawable this is the icons which we passed inside our drawable folder right now in this tutorial at the start so let's move it little bit uh, below so we can say margin top 
it should be 25 dp after that we can say margin left 17 dp and margin right will also be 17 dp and let's copy this edit text and we will paste it for the password so copy this and paste it right down below okay so first of all change the id of it so it will be password and make sure to change this input type which is the now it will be text password margin from the top should be 10 dp and we have to move it below the login email so copy the login email uh, id and here you can see below okay and paste that here so you can see this is our password field let's change this hint also to password and then change this uh, drawable start which is the icon so change this to password and this is the password icon now we need to add a button so after that we can say button match parent wrap content change this to match parent let's give it some id so the id for this will be login underscore button and let's move it below so here we can say below id and it should be below the password field and the padding let's copy this padding from here and paste that here okay so padding for it will also be 4dp and also uh, the layout top left and right okay copy this and paste that here and the text for it will be login and text all caps to false text size should be 24 sp and text color should be at the red android color and it should be background light and the background for this will be the buttons background so buttons margin left change this margin left to 19 and also this margin right to uh, 19 dp now we need to add here a uh, forget password uh, okay so for that uh, above this button we can say uh, write a uh, create a text view so we can set text view or instead of that we can cut this and copy this edit text code from here paste that here and change this edit text to text view and make sure to change this to forget password underscore link now remove this hint and input type first and also remove this drawable start from here and this padding and this background now copy this uh, forget password link from here and paste it here and now for this uh, remove this login email and copy the id of this login password and paste it here okay you can see that and now let's assign some text to it so you can set text and it should be forget password and change this to center horizontal and it should be true margin top should be 2 dp margin left should be 15 dp and 23 dp will be margin right and the text alignment should be text and text size 17 sp text style uh, should be bold and text color should be color primary dark so yeah that's it and for the button change this margin top to 4dp 
now we need to create another text view so copy this uh, text view code from here and paste it after this button okay and change this to change the id of this to already underscore have an account already have an account link and now copy uh, this id and replace it with here okay and make sure to remove this text alignment okay change this to center and change the text for it so it should be already have an account or let's change this instead of that we can say need new account I mean whatever you like to write here now copy this text view and we need another text view here so pass that here and remove this and we can say you can give it a simple ID login underscore using and copy this ID and paste it here and now change this new account text to or login using your first of all remove this text color from here margin top should be 10 and yeah that's it and now we need a button for the phone so that a user can uh, log in using his phone and I mean the phone verification button okay so copy this if the user do not want to log in using email uh, then he can log in using his phone he will send a code to his mobile phone and then he has to verify the account and then he will be able to use this app using his phone number so yeah first of all change this to login or instead of it, you can say phone underscore login underscore button phone login button and copy the ID of this and paste it here change this login to phone and here we need to add drivable start and it should be phone and change the text size to 14 SP so yeah this is all about our uh, login activity now let's come to the activity register and let's design this so that we can uh, run the app and then see how it looks on our device so change this to relative layout and then inside it what we're gonna do come here to the text and from here uh, we will copy this image view edit start uh, edit text I mean both this email and password field and also this up to this button up to this button which is up to this login button okay copy this code from here and go to the register activity and paste that here now first of all make sure to change the IDs first okay this is important if you do not change it right now then you will uh, get I mean your app will crash okay so change this uh, ID from login to uh, register okay so I will copy this register and replace it replace with all the logins and we don't need uh, any forget password link on our register activity and change this login with it okay so yeah that's it and now let's copy this register image ID and replace this here and now copy this register email and replace it with login email and copy this register password and replace it with forget password so yeah this is our uh, register activity and now let's uh, margin top should be 10 dp and make sure to change this text to register or instead of that we can say create account now the next thing we need is to change this image uh, so here it is by the name sign up photo 
you can see this okay so this is amazing if I zoom it you can see that this is incredible now we need a link here that is let's say if a user has already and uh, if he is, has created an account then we will create here a link that is he has an account already have an account link basically so go to the login and you can see here we have this need new account so copy this from here go to the activity register and paste that here at the end and make sure to change the ID first to okay this is the uh, I mean this ID is for uh, here okay so first of all what we gonna do for the register it is change this to uh, let me tell you okay let me write it first that is already have an account okay so this will be the ID for this one okay I mean for the register uh, button so first let move it below this which is let's add here below already here okay pass that ID here so it is below here already have an account and now by mistake we wrote here I mean the wrong ID it is need new account okay so make sure to change this ID to need underscore new underscore account and now copy this need new account link and replace it with this below ID so you can see this so this is for the need new account link okay if a user need uh, I mean new account if he has not created an account then he will uh, go from the login activity to the register activity and if you go to the register activity then this is the ID for already have an account link okay so already have an account is the name of this link so yeah let's run the app to see what we got so you can see that our app is running now successfully so now in the next video tutorial we will uh, define and initialize this field on our login activity and also we will define and initialize these fields of the register activity here on the register activity .java file okay so that we can work and allow a user to create account using the firebase authentication and da firebase database and also we will then allow the user to log in using uh, his email and password and then his phone number okay so yeah that's it for this video and see you guys in the next video bye for now